Hey guys, how's it going? Soundkiller here again with Black Lotus Audio. Ready to show you a really cool video. Today I'm going to be remaking and showing you guys how one of the leads in Odyssey was made. So I'm going to give you this really cool super saw tutorial. Anyways, no more talking. Let's go right into the DAW, open up Vital and show you guys how it's done. So I've loaded up Vital here and what I'm going to start doing is enabling all three oscillators and the white noise just to start crafting the sound and I'm going to turn down the level of the white noise while we work with the saws and start creating the actual super saw. So as you can hear it sounds like um, nothing special, just a plain old saws but I'm going to start by adding some voices here. I'm going to start by adding 16 voices on the first oscillator, 16 voices on the second oscillator, and I want to keep the third oscillator without any voices or unison happening there. I'm going to also adjust the tuning just a teeny bit just to create some more detune happening here, something like that. already sounding very very nice and detuned very super saw like I'm gonna take down the detuning here on the first oscillator I'm gonna crank up the detune on the second oscillator a bit more I'm gonna, I want to add just a really really small amount like just one small fraction here of the detuning as well So already sounding very wide, very detuned. We can also add just a tiny little pinch of white noise just to fill up the the high end a bit more. It's already sounding nice. Um, very nice, very detuned. So now I'm just adding this filter here. Just creating is something like this. Just to control a little bit the high end and to add some macros in the future if we want to modulate this patch. Now I'm going to go into the effects area. I'm going to enable the chorus and I'm going to set it here to 16 voices for seconds. I'm going to adjust the depth of just a teeny bit add a, add a bit more depth turn down the mix quite a bit and what I'm doing with the chorus now is that I'm basically adding just a teeny bit more D2 more stereo information here into the super saw just to make it very wide very big very nice awesome sounding Super saw. Next, I'm gonna add some distortion. It's gonna be a hard clip distortion, but it's gonna be very subtle. I'm just gonna take down the mix um, somewhere at around 10 o'clock. Turn down the drive a teeny bit. I'm, I'm gonna enable here a pre filter that is gonna be set as a high pass. I'm just gonna adjust the settings a little bit here so you just want the high end of of the super saw to be distorted just a teeny bit again controlling the high end amazing sounds wonderful i'm gonna add a eq just to adjust the sound a bit give it um, a sort of unique character i'm just gonna do something like this add a band here i'm just gonna Reduce the gain a little bit and just adjust it like this. I have something like that, so it looks very good. And then I'm gonna go into the high end. I'm gonna enable the, the high cut here. I'm gonna adjust here, do something like this perhaps, maybe. That looks good to me. It's giving a nice little character and shape to the super saw. If 
there we go now I want to add a nice little touch of reverb and delay so I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna start with the delay here I find that to be a bit too quick so I'm just gonna set it to one fourth and I want to use the mid ping pong as I find here that this ping pong delay sounds very cool something like this has a really cool effect here now I'm gonna do just add the reverb I just did a teeny bit I want more of the high end of the reverb and less of the low end in the reverb and a longer tail and I want this reverb to be huge because super saws tend to be huge so I'm, we're gonna crank up the size here Awesome, that's already sounding like a really cool super sop hatch, which is a really awesome recreation of one of the patches in Odyssey. Now, the one thing missing here for us to recreate from the Odyssey pack is that we need to create a few macros. So in the Odyssey version, we have a filter macro, a plug macro, a weight, and a detune. But for this um, video, I'm going to keep it simple. I'm just going to create a filter knob here. So I'm just going to take down the filter to an area that I really like. So I really like that tone over there. I'm just going to drag the first macro, call it filter. And this is basically giving me a tool, an easier tool to modulate inside of the DAW. So now I can modulate this and create some really cool chord progressions here using this really awesome lead preset. And there we have it. A really awesome remake of one of the Super Sop hatches in Odyssey Melodic Dubstep Pack. So if you really like this patch or you think it's really awesome and want more melodic elements for your music, don't forget to go to Black Lotus Audio's website and check out Odyssey Melodic Dubstep Pack, which will be linked down in the description. So make sure to check that out. I'll link in the description. Also, don't forget to like and subscribe this video so that we know that you like this and so that we can make more content for you guys. Anyways. Thanks for watching, this was Soundkiller here with Black Lotus Audio, and until next time.